Hi and welcome to The Winning Factor. I'm Alan Aitken and on this show each week we take a look at some upcoming races in Hong Kong and we try to isolate an aspect of the race that we might uh, look back on later as having been the path to finding the winner. Well, Sunday racing, 11 of the best at Sha Tin. The first race we're going to take a look at today is race four. And here, our winning factor, the map. Now, this is a class four, 1,200 metres, and I'm sure there'll be fans here for the last start winner, Magic Supreme. We have first responder having his first start under Douglas White's care. Golden Link, who's caught the eye in his two race starts and Happy Victory, who didn't have an awful lot of luck at his most recent appearance. And the two of those I want to look most closely at are Golden Link, a three-year-old from the Ricky Yu camp, and also Happy Victory, who recently transferred to Tony Millard. That's usually a sign a horse is about to win a race, but he has had two starts there without it quite working out uh, as they might have liked. And this is the most recent of those starts for Happy Victory. This is uh, last month, and you'll see him here. He's uh, in white sleeves, caught three wide uh, outside the leaders in this race. And uh, you see the heat map here. It wasn't too strong a pace, so that definitely uh, offset to a slight extent the tough run. But it still didn't help him, and he was able to stick on uh, in the sprint home. But quite a tough third in that race. Now this is race 684, this is a week earlier and you see here Golden Link, he's in purple, red and white uh, colours. He has gate 12 here and he jumped out okay uh, but you see a very different style of race this, uh, solid early pace and mid-race pace and Matt Chadwick just had to keep going back to avoid being caught wide uh, on this horse until the point where he was uh, well out of the race. Uh, the fast pace, well, it helped in one way that uh, the leaders did slow down and he was able to finish off well to get into second over the final stages. And in those uh, two starts that Golden Link has had, we've seen him get back in the field both times. That one certainly extenuating circumstances from the wide gate and he was a bit slow early in his uh, debut run. And that's going to be critical, I think, to the outcome of this race. Now if we look on the map, uh, Magic Supreme, he's uh, got pace in uh, a low draw here, he's a potential leader, although he did take the box seat run last time when he won. But mostly the pace here looks to be coming from horses like Hard Promise, First Responder and Warlord from the draws out wider, and that looks like it could produce a decent enough tempo. Happy Victory, he's in gate five and he should be able to find a nice trail handy to the leaders. But where are we going to see Golden Link in relation to him? That's the important aspect of this race. And on what we've seen in uh, his two races so far, Golden Link, we'd have to think that he's going to be giving a start to Happy Victory in the race. And maybe that's advantage to the Tony Millard horse. But, but I want to take you back uh, to a time in his career before he started racing. This is in February. And we're going to see a barrier trial here from Golden Link and have a look at him here. He's up on the speed. In fact, he sp showed speed in a few of his trials. This one, he's actually leading the race and uh, he's able to kick on and he finishes uh, with a couple of pretty decent horses alongside him, Beluga and Good Luck Friend. So we do see that he has got some speed. And as we saw on the uh, map, but I think that that's critical to the outcome of this race, whether he can show that speed uh, this time. He's got uh, an inside gate and he switches to Joe Moreira this time. So the tip in race four, Golden Link, his winning factor, the map. I think uh, with the change of jockey and the inside draw, we might see more early pace this time. I don't think there's a great deal between him and Happy Victory as it stands, but that might just give him the edge. The second race I want to take a look at is race five, and here the winning factor, the tempo. Well, this is quite a thin race, I think, on uh, chances. It boils down pretty much to the top three on your race card. Uh, Yi Chong Pegasus, already a winner twice this season. Kinda Cool, whose two runs have been full of promise. And Sky Field, a horse we haven't seen for a while, but his only run, his debut at Happy Valley, was an absolute cracker, which we'll look at in a minute. And you could probably throw in Adonis as a lightweight chance in the race as well. 
But it's those three horses at the top of the weights uh, where I really want to put our focus. And we're going to have a look at uh, what they've been doing. First of all, Yi Chong Pegasus. Now, this is race 685. And he did a good job uh, winning this race because uh, you'll see him in the blue colours in midfield. Uh, somehow he manages to be three wide from gate three. And that certainly didn't help his cause, but the leaders spent some energy mid-race. They slowed down in the home straight, as you can see on the heat map. And Yi Chong Pegasus, he just kept on coming, and he ground them down in the finish. Now, half an hour earlier, we saw uh, the race that we've, we've already seen once in reference to Golden Link. And here uh, I want to point out kind of cool. Now, he's one of the leaders in the pink colours. He's three wide outside the leaders, in fact and uh, he has to work very hard for the first 800 metres of this race. Uh, very fast times you see on the heat map and uh, uh, he did it very tough in the run and uh, was still there with 150 metres to run before finally tiring out of the race. And finally I want to go back to that uh, debut run of Skyfield in January. This is a thousand metre race at uh, Happy Valley and while the leaders here didn't break any records, as you can see on this heat map, uh, Skyfield did, going back after a moderate jump from a wide gate, but watch how he closes off the race in the straight in the yellow and green colours, absolutely hurtling to the line late. Now in Happy Valley 1000 metre races, we often see groups of horses running on at the finish. There's usually a bit of pressure on up front, the leaders get tired, and the horses from the back run home. But that was not what happened here with Skyfield in his debut at Happy Valley. As you saw on the heat map, the leaders didn't go that quickly. Uh, they still had some run in them and fought out the finish. Uh, but he was able to take off a lot of ground, almost uh, seven and a half lengths uh, from the leaders from the top of the straight. And his final 400 metre section was the fastest of the whole meeting by about half a second. So that's real talent right there. Now he's missed some time this season since with a fractured splint problem. Uh, he's had a couple of trials lately and uh, it's interesting to see if he's able to reproduce that uh, the first time out after the break. But taking you back to uh, the top of this item and our winning factor here was the tempo and this is why. When we look at the map, we don't have any recognised leader in the race. Now, Adonis can race forward if he consents to come out of the gates, which hasn't always been a certainty lately. Uh, and Kinda Cool showed uh, the kind of pace in his last start defeat that probably makes him the leader if that's what Zach Purton wants to do. And Zach is a master at summing up these situations and taking a race by the scruff of the neck. Yi Chong Pegasus, well, he's going to get back to midfield, I think, and give away a start. Skyfield, he could be closer uh, from a better gate, but he hasn't been the cleanest of beginners in his races or trials, so that remains to be seen. So the tip in race five, kind of cool. His winning factor, the tempo. I think this really does boil down to the three talented horses at the top of the weights, and kind of cool is the one with the gate speed and the jockey, to take advantage if there is no pace on. Well, that's it from the winning factor this week. Good luck on Sunday. We'll catch you next time.